My demonstration for this week is something that I've over the years every once in a while I get an email about and that's how to sew zipper tabs so that, that they look nice in your finished project. So um, I have this here is a project from Minikin Season 2. It's the Metro uh, double zip pouch and it has zipper tabs on the top. So most uh, zipper pouches do have a tab on either side of the zipper. It's meant to make the zipper look nice in the finished pouch. Um, if you have a zipper on the top without zipper tabs, the zipper kind of, I guess, fades into the seam allowance and it, um, I'm not sure how to describe it, but the tabs certainly make it look really nice. I'm going to jump over to the side camera. I'm going to show you the tabs up close and then we're going to talk about some tricks that you can use to make your tabs look really nice in your finished pouch. Okay, so I've got my all my sample pieces over here. So I'm going to have Danny zoom in really quick so you can see, and I'm going to shift that over. See how that zipper tab is really nice and rounded from the side at the top. It looks really crisp and clean as well. It's not getting cut off or getting sucked into the seam allowance. So let's talk about, um, before we talk about how to navigate through sewing so that it looks nice, I'm going to put a few pictures on the screen. Um, some viewers sent me some problem areas that they found uh, when they were sewing their zipper tabs in place. So yeah, Danny's going to put these pictures on the screen. See in this orange pouch how the tab is kind of getting sucked into the, the seam allowance. It's not a nice rounded tab. Um, that's one example. This one right here, I recognize that vinyl is a bit thicker to sew with, but again, the, the tab is kind of getting sucked in um, to that side seam in this brown pouch. Another example, this red pouch, again, um, the fabric in the tab is sort of getting sucked into the side seam. And then I have one more picture. Sometimes you'll not be able to catch the tab or it'll end up leaving raw edges or actually a hole at the top edge of your finished pouch. So we want to avoid all of these um, areas and make the tab look nice. So what I did was I prepared... Uh, I guess a little sample of a zipper pouch. So I sewed my zipper to my exterior fabrics and to my lining fabrics. I like to work with a zipper that's about three quarters of an inch shorter than the top edge of the fabric. So as you can see, there's a gap on either side of the tab. It's not as long as the green fabric and that's um, on purpose so that we can sew the side seams without sewing that tab fabric. So. When finishing the pouch, we're usually sewing the exterior fabrics right sides together and also the lining fabrics right sides together. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my exterior so that it's right sides together and lining so that it's right sides together. So here's my lining fabric out here. We're going to start with the exterior fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and use some wonder clips to pin that in place. And you'll notice that at this top edge over here where the tab ends, so the pink fabric is my tab, you have the ends of the exterior fabric and this is sort of a, a flap over here. So when you sew this area, you want to be sewing with this fabric pushed down like this. I've had times in the past where I've been sewing this area and the fabric kind of gets bunched up under the needle or push, pushed out of the way and it ends up being not push down like it should be like this. So if you find that problem happening to you, you can certainly go ahead and use, um, I like using this Fonz and Porter, it's a fabric glue marker, basically a, a small glue stick. You can also use any washable glue stick here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue over here. You'll want to set that with a hot dry iron and that glue will hold that fabric down and you'll do the same thing on the other side as well. It's really helpful because then you'll have one less thing to worry about, your fabric shifting, and then you can just concentrate on getting a nice stitch down your side area. Okay, so now that that's glued in place, I'm going to go ahead and finish pinning the side, and you can go ahead and put a wonder clip over here. This is the lining up here, and you want to make sure that the lining fabric is pushed out of the way. So if you find it helpful to kind of clip that out of the way for now. We're not sewing over the lining fabric at all. We're only sewing that exterior fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pinning the rest of the way around. And you want, if you're using the glue, you'll want to also glue the opposite end as well. I'm just going to put a pin on there for now, or wonder clip rather. 
Okay, so the most important thing about sewing this is as you're sewing for this particular project, I'll be using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. You don't want to sew over that tab fabric at all. I know it can be harder to see, especially if your tab fabric is the same fabric as your exterior. I'll zoom in. Okay, Dan yeah, Danny says he's going to zoom in right here. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to grab a pen also. I'll grab my purple pen. So when you're sewing your quarter of an inch seam allowance, you're not sewing, the needle is not going through that tab fabric at all. You're going to be sewing just a hair to the outside of it. So as close as you can to the tab as possible. So I recognize different zipper feet may make this process a little bit harder. Um, for Especially for sewing pouches or bags that have a tab like this, I find it easier to sew one half at a time. Danny's going to back up again, sorry about that. So you can start sewing at the center marking, sew this half. The reason that I started sewing at the center is because then you can orient the fabric so that it's going in toward your sewing machine in this direction. And you may find it helpful for sewing on top of the edge of the fabric without sewing the tab. Once you finish sewing this half, you'll take it off uh, the machine and set up the second half so that you can sew the second half as well. You may also find it helpful to sew most of the fabric with your regular foot and as you get closer to the top edge of the fabric, switching out to a zipper foot, which will allow you, get close, allow you to get closer to the tab while still holding on to your fabric. So every machine obviously has different feet. This is what my zipper foot looks like. It's a, for a Juki TL2010Q and several other models of Juki machine. It's called a hinge zipper foot, but it's really narrow. Let me grab my ruler and, and uh, measure how narrow it is. So it's, the whole foot is only a quarter of an inch. It's really narrow, so that means the, the needle is coming down an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the foot. And using a zipper foot, regardless of what your zipper foot looks like, is helpful because you can get really close to that edge of the, the tab um, without having your foot get in the way. Um, when you go to sew the other half, the lining half, you'll do the same thing. Um, if you prefer, you can go ahead and glue this little flap down and since your exterior is already sewn, you'll just go ahead and push the exterior out of the way because we're sewing one end, at, one end at a time, the exterior first and then the lining second. So I've got um, a little pouch that I already sewed right here. As you can see, my lining and my exterior are sewn separately. And then when you go to turn everything right side out, you'll wanna use a turning tool to gently poke out the ends of the zipper tabs. Sometimes the, the issue is um, if you've ensured that you've sewn as close to the tab as you need to. Sometimes you just need to use a turning tool and I see I've left mine on my desk. So I like this precision turning tool, but whichever tool that you have um, is fine. And you just want to gently poke out the corners and ensure that you don't have any tabs stuck in your seam and no raw, raw edges showing either. And so. This takes practice. If you don't get it exactly right on the first try, you can always rip a few seams and give it another go. Um, definitely practice will make this process a lot easier. And Dan I'm gonna have Danny zoom in on the, the tab area one more time, just so um, everyone's clear on uh, what we're doing with this tab. So by not sewing over the tab fabric, you get a nice smooth tab in the corner. Same thing on the other end, I realize my my print might be a little distracting here, but yeah, you just want a nice rounded zipper tab and it to look nice and flat and finish both ends of your zipper. So hopefully um, that little discussion uh, will help you tighten up your, your zipper tabs on your pouches. I certainly didn't sew nice zipper tabs all the time. Definitely practice. Um, don't get frustrated. Don't be so hard on yourself. Each one will be better than the next. I promise that.